थ्री टू वन जीरो प्रथम भारतीय सौर अंतरिक्ष यान निकल चुका है सूर्य के तेज से विज्ञान को प्रकाश करने इस, इस वक्त आदित्य एल वन मिशन से जुड़े वैज्ञानिक डॉक्टर रमेश हमारे साथ हैं सर वेलकम टू यू ऑन एबीपी न्यूज जस्ट टेल मी व्हाट एग्जैक्टली द मोटो ऑफ दिस मिशन Aditya L1 mission particularly the visible emission line coronagraph payload is meant for observing the solar corona the sun has got three regions one is the photosphere which is what we see as the orange ball of fire whenever we look up at the sky during the daytime then above that we have got a chromosphere which is a narrow region and beyond that we have the solar corona in the solar corona there are lot of uh, transient activities taking place which are something similar to the earthquakes in the atmosphere and because of the solar quakes which we call as the coronal mass ejections or cmes um, approximately trillion uh, kilogram of coronal material is thrown out into the interplanetary space and some of this material can propagate in the direction of the earth also and they can travel at the speeds of uh, 3000 kilometers per second such that they can reach the near earth space in less than 15 hours now these uh, charged particle clouds from the solar corona if there happens to be a satellite in the path the satellite the electronics can malfunction and if they come into the earth's uh, surface they can stream along the magnetic field lines between the north pole and the south pole of the earth and because of which the earth's magnetic field can be affected for example we all recently know how the uh, satellites of the spacex got lost because of one such uh, violent eruption on the solar atmosphere so the motive of this mission is to study these events right from the place where it originates in the solar corona and then follow them up to uh, the place uh, in the l1 point so that we can predict these events and understand in better detail sir as we heard that uh, with aditya l1 mission we are going also going to study the effect of uh, uh, you can say that uh, radiation of sun how how it will affect the atmosphere of a uh, different uh, planets like earth and all around the sun see primarily at this point of time <clears throat> to study any uh, events like these on the sun's surface like uh, we have the sunspot cycle which is 11 year period we need a sufficient database to get a statistical understanding of uh, these events first thing is in this mission we'd like to understand that what um, triggers these events in the solar atmosphere then uh, how many of these events have got the possibility of coming towards the earth and things like that so probably as we go along once we start getting the data we will be in a better position to understand these things and whether these can be predicted in advance so only the data which starts coming out sometime from the month of january 2024 onwards uh, till then we have to keep our fingers crossed as uh, sir as we heard as you already know that sun is the sun is a star and after around 4 billion years it's going to be extinct Oh, are we also going to study about that when how the sun will extinct and all that this mission is not specifically designed for that here the main idea is to understand these uh, violent discharges on the solar atmosphere and uh, see whether we can uh, predict what type of signatures on the sun lead to these eruptions sir uh, there is a uh, four langerian point l1 l2 l3 l5 as we know might be <laughs> why we have chosen l1 See there are actually five Lagrangian points. Uh, this name Lagrange comes after the Italian astronomer Joseph Lagrange who discovered it. These five points are sort of uh, five stable points between the sun and the earth where the gravitational force of attractions are perfectly balanced. Of these five points, L1 is in between the sun and the earth. That is L2 and L3 which is behind the sun and behind the earth and L4 and L5 are on 90 degrees with respect to the earth. So L1 is in the sun earth line from where we can see the sun 24 hours that's one of the reasons why we are going to the L1 point and since it is at only 1.5 million kilometers from the earth the telemetry or the communication with the satellite is also fairly easy thanks sir thanks sir best of luck sir to is waqt aditya l1 mission se jude vyagyanik dr ramesh hamare sath the wo bata rahe the is mission ki tamam khubiyon ke bare mein aur ye bhi unhone bataya ki aakhir is mission ke baad इन वैज्ञानिकों को किस तरह का डाटा प्राप्त होगा और किस तरह की जानकारियां इन्हें हासिल होंगी कैमरामैन मनीष सुनियाल के साथ श्रीनिवास श्रीहरिकोटा